Hello and welcome to Optica University. I would like to introduce you today to how to implement a web service using web methods. We will be using version 9.7. To create a provider web service descriptor, we need to create the IS service that we want to expose as a web service. For our example, I've created two services, add numbers, subtract numbers, both have same signature. We have the variable number one as an input, variable number two as an input as well, and the variable called result as an output. You can transfer any existing IS service into a web service by adding it as an operation in the provider web service descriptor. Before we create the provider web service descriptor, I would like to show you our services that we are going to expose. We have here add numbers. Simply I'm um, using the service add ends in the public package. It takes number one and two, makes the sum and puts the value in the result. Subtract numbers, I'm using subtract ends in the public package. It takes number one and two and puts the result in the result variable. I'll show an example on the execution. Result is the sum, 7. The result is 3 for the subtract numbers. Now to create the provider web service descriptor, we will go to the folder that we want to place the descriptor in, right click, new, web service descriptor. Here you can name the service descriptor. We we'll press next. In our case, create web service descriptor as a provider because we want to expose the service as a web service, so we are the providers. The web service source is an existing IS service or services. In our case, I would like to add the two services as two operations in the web service descriptor. Next, we will keep all the values as default. The only thing that the endpoint I'm going to add my server and port. And we press finish. Now our web service descriptor is created. As you can see, we have here the two operations we chose, add numbers, subtract numbers. In order to allow the client or the third party application to call our web service, we need to go to permissions in the property of the descriptor and set the execute ACL to anonymous. This is only to allow the client to call our web service. Or you can create a special ACL for your client and give them the username and password to call your web service. Now our web service is ready for the test. We will be using the SOAP UI to test our web service. Before leaving the designer, I would like to show you an important property that we will be using is the WSDL URL. This is the URL that gets you the WSDL of the web service. We will copy this into the SOAP UI to generate the test case. Now we are here in the SOAP UI application, which is a third party application used for testing web services. This will call the web service exposed by our integration server. To start, we will go to File, New SOAP Project. The project name, call it as you like. And in a shell WSDL, you will paste the WSDL URL that we took from the property of the descriptor. Here you have create sample requests for all operations. We need to check this because we have two operations that we want to test in our WSDL. As you can see, 
the add numbers and the subtract numbers operations and each has a sample request to test. Now I will make a quick test to show you the invocation of the web service exposed by our integration server. We will start with add numbers, request number one. As you can see, we have here the inputs number one and two. And the result is six is the sum. And for subtract numbers, we have here number one and two as well as inputs. And you have here the result as well. If you forget to change the permissions of the web service descriptor, you will not be able to call the web service from the SOAP UI. So make sure that you change the execute ACL to anonymous or to create an ACL and put the credentials in the call of the web service in your SOAP UI. This is all for this video. Thank you so much for your time. I hope I gave you an idea about how to create a web service descriptor. For more information and similar videos, please visit Optica.com.